Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here, and today we're going to be doing the long-awaited December favourites. I didn't do a November favourites because um, I was only doing a couple of videos throughout the month of December, so I never got to it, and um, I'm really excited that I'm going to be doing a favourites today. Now, I have changed up my favourites a little bit. I've kept the same categories, but what I have done is I'm not sticking rigidly to having like three of each or um, talking about multiple things. I'm just going to go with kind of my most favourite and then maybe a couple of others if I can't decide on my favourite. Also, I got this for Christmas from my mum and it's really, really like snuffly and I love it a lot. I am just thought I'd tell you that because it's really warm and cosy and it has a hood. Oh, <laughs> that looked weird. It has a hood, although the hood looks weird, right? Let's not, let's not be doing that. But thanks mum. I know you sometimes watch my videos, so hi. Um, yes, so let's talk about my favourites from December. Now, as you all know, I moved at the very end of November. So, um, things were kind of up in the air throughout December. We were in the middle of, like, unpacking stuff and whatever. But as Mr. Mr. Monkey over there will tell you, we're pretty much done now, which is great. So, um, yeah, we did some different bits and pieces. So, my favourite book of the month was actually the book I read on New Year's Eve. It was the very... It was my very last book of the month, um, and that is Undead and Unappreciated by Mary Janice Davidson. This is the fourth book. No, I want to say it's the third book. This is the third book in the um, Undead series, I think it's called. I don't know exactly what the name of the series is. This follows a girl named Betsy Taylor, who in the first book wakes up one day having been killed, and she is um, a vampire, and she has now become the queen of the vampires, and she's trying to adjust to life as an undead person, and she loves shoes, and she's very kind of like normal, and I love the, the difference between it, this is very erotic in places, there's lots of sex, um, which I'm kind of okay with, um, and it's just really funny, um, I really enjoy it, and yes, the humour in this is great, it makes me laugh every time. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend this series, this like I say is the third book, my mum actually lent me these books, so mum you can have the third one back now. Um, it, on the back it says a delightful mix of chiclet and horror, and it's just, it's not really horror I wouldn't say, I would say it's more kind of like, it's vampire stuff, but it's not like that gruesome. Um, yeah, I absolutely loved this one. This was actually a four star read, um, I didn't have any five star reads in December, but yeah, loved this one nonetheless. Then on to my favourite TV show, so this, <laughs> this has been Say Yes to the Dress, which I'd seen a few times previously and I've never really kind of like got into watching it so much, but I really enjoyed, there's specifically it's Say Yes to the Dress Lancashire, which has got Quan as the stylist on it, who I love, um, but I do generally like the UK one and the US one as well, I watch all of them. Um, as I said in many videos, I am getting married in October and I'm currently trying to work out what kind of wedding dress I want. Um, I have a booking, hopefully, to go and see dresses at some point. I'm really nervous about that, but um, yeah, I keep watching these programmes because I'm very interested. I've been watching the show to get lots of inspiration and I do love Gok Kwan. <laughs> if you don't know what Say Yes to the Dress is, I realise I never actually said, it's basically a programme where, where brides will go and basically try on wedding dresses um, until they find the perfect one and when they find the perfect one they say yes to the dress. So yeah, hopefully I'll be doing that soon. <laughs> Next up is my favourite film of the month and we've watched a few films this month but the one that I think I've probably enjoyed the most was the film Murder Mystery which has Jennifer Aniston, one of my all time favourites, and also Adam Sandler in. They play um, basically a married couple who um, have been together for 15 years and when they got married um, the husband basically promised the wife that he would take her on holiday and it gets to their 15th wedding anniversary and um, basically he, she thinks that's what he's doing um, and then he feels like he has to so he takes her away and they get caught up in a kind of um, murder 
plot basically and it's kind of about that it also has a lot of her she reads a lot of murder mystery books so she kind of thinks that she knows how to deal with the situations that they're in um and it's just yeah it's just really funny i really enjoyed it it was really it was just a funny kind of watch and um yeah we had a really nice evening sat down and just watched the film together me and aj that is um so yeah we really loved that then on to youtubers so these are non booktuber youtubers um and the first one i have to talk about is um quite a well-known one i think but it's the um girl band cimarelli so cimarelli is the surname and it's six sisters they have like five brothers as well so there's lots of them they're a big family but it's six sisters who do music and they do covers and um i just really enjoy them um i have got like stuck you know when you get stuck watching like video after video after video and you kind of can't stop um i love them they do covers they do other videos they are like they do a lot of harmonizing and acapella songs um and yeah i just think their voices are great and i love watching them so yeah definitely my favorites also this is again a bit biased because he's my fiance but AJ has started up his channel again he started again in January he's doing um so his channel is Artceptual I will link it down below for you if you like gaming especially space games because that's kind of what he's doing at the moment he's currently doing a challenge where he's trying to um he's playing a game called Elite Dangerous I think it's called <laughs> and he's trying to jump from the outside to the inside of this particular place um he has lots of stars to go he's made it a mission of his which i think is going to be really exciting and um yeah i love his videos because i love him please go and sub like check him out and subscribe to him if you enjoy that kind of thing because i think he's great and um yeah i would love you too then we have my favourite booktuber, so I have two this month again. So the first one is the wonderful Joanna from Joannotations, which is the best channel name I think I've heard in a long time. Joanna is somebody who um, watched my video and commented on it, and so I went and checked out her channel. She did um, a Christmas book haul just after I did mine, or about the same time as I did mine, actually. Did she, hers might have even gone up before mine. Uh, but she commented on mine, and um, I, went and got, I went and checked out her channel, and I absolutely love her um she is just really really wonderful i enjoy watching her videos and yeah i would highly recommend that you go and check out her channel if you haven't already um because yeah she's wonderful and then we have the lovely becca from becca and the books i really enjoy becca's channel and um her and ashley from frolic through fictions um videos where they do vlogging together and um ashley did becca's bookopoly which was just wonderful i've been obsessed with becca's bookopoly videos and she's brought it back in 2020 which i'm really excited about and yeah i just think her channel's great she's really personable she's just really like warm and i will watch her now forever basically i love her so much <laughs> Then we have music, so um, I've had a lot of music favourites. We actually picked our first dance song, which I don't know if I'm going to share right now. Age is not here and I don't know how we'd feel about it, so I'm going to keep it to myself for now, but I might mention it in next month's video. Um, but I've been really particularly enjoying Olly Murs this, seri this series. I've been really enjoying Olly Murs in December. Um, his song Wrapped Up has been one of my favourites, but I love basically every Olly Murs song. Um, little known fact, I actually went to an Olly Murs concert when I was at university. I didn't even know who he was really when I went. Uh, my friend just had a spare ticket because someone else that she was going with pulled out and we went and saw him at the O2 and he is wonderful. His voice sounds amazing. He's just really like, he does. Um, he's really great and plays to the crowd really well. And I just love him. So yeah, I've really loved Ollie Murs in this particular month. And then last up, we have my favourite YouTube video, which has not been a particular video. It's been a particular type of video. So I've really enjoyed TBR videos. I love TBR videos. I always have. Um, but I've been loving TBR games videos. So people have been just so creative and come up with so many different things. And I'm going to try and list a few different people and their videos Um but I'm probably going to miss them out, so I'm really sorry if I do. So um, I've really enjoyed Becca from Becca and the Books, who does Beccopoly, as I said. Um, Cody from Cody's Book Corner does um, her Wheel of TBR, which I have been massively inspired by, as you know, because I did my Wheel of TBR in December and loved it. Um, we have Nicole from Beautiful Chaos of Books, who does Thrillopoly. 
which is the Monopoly board style game with um, kind of more thriller, thriller prompts um, or style prompts because that's the type of book that Nicole likes to read. Uh, we have Jade from JD Ray Reads who does um, Trivial, Trivial Pursuit, but she does a TBR Pursuit, which is um, amazing. We have um, Laura from what everyone else is reading who has been doing um, Snakes and Ladders um, TBRs, which I love and got inspiration from her for my um punishments which is to add more prompts on basically um emily from novel novels is now doing a tbr jar every month which i think is really fun and um oh i have so many um and i also particularly really liked leanne from literary diversion she did um a um my lovely wife Helen, <laughs> her, not her wife Helen, not my, my wife Helen, um, who picks her TBR for her and I just love that kind of like, what I think I love is the element of like surprise, so when you, just ways of picking your TBR that's really interesting, I have um, been doing, started doing my wheel of TBR which I'm really enjoying and I have some other fun things coming up um, which I'm going to try and incorporate into TBRs but we'll soon find out but yeah it's just been a really fun month I've really connected with some wonderful you like with other booktubers I've had some wonderful gifts a massive massive thank you to everybody that sent me some wonderful gifts um, you guys are amazing and um, I also hit 600 subscribers which is just I don't even know where to go with that because it's just mind-blowing to me. Um, so thank you guys for being sub subscribed because um, I absolutely love every single one of you. Um, yeah, thank you. So if you enjoyed this video and you like watching favourites videos, let me know in the comments down below. Specifically, I'd like to know, do you watch anybody who does TBR games? And if you do, let me know who they are because I am 100% looking out for them. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for another video. Bye guys.